Hey, a little cleaning tip here on your Jeep. Yes, I like my Jeep to get dirty, but I also like to keep it clean and well maintained. So, something to help with the undercarriage at home. I know we all have a Webster, right? They've been around for decades. So I, I dip my Webster in the soapy water and I can clean my diff cover and my lovely metal cloak whatever bar and you know you can get that yuck off of there um, it's, it's just maintenance for your vehicle and keeping it looking nice so this Webster really comes in handy for anything underneath you can reach with the long arm that extends and uh, I just thought of it one day I thought you know what I want to get my diff clean because I painted that myself black and red for a metal cloak and you know I was just up in Tahoe and it got really yucky and you want to keep that stuff clean it's also just the maintenance of your vehicle so use a Webster it really comes in handy and you can get your wheel wells really good with the Webster it reaches in there you can even get parts of the frame cleaned, tops of your shocks. Why not, really? You know, let's just get it clean. It's part of the maintenance, and that way your Jeep will last so much longer. Okay, uh, Miss Adventures is, is cleaned up for good for now. Um, I always do like to clean up my Jeep after anything where it gets that road salt. Um, I know a lot of people are like, yay, if it's not dirty, it's not a Jeep. But you know, there's also maintenance. And I feel like if you keep the paint clean as much as you can, of course, we all like to get them dirty and muddy. That's part of the fun of a Jeep. But when you're done, I think it's a good good to get it a good wash, get everything cleaned up. You know, it's just going to last longer and it's going to look nicer longer and we all want that. Um, again, the, um, I don't know where it went, but it's on the other side. The um, Webster is great for getting underneath your Jeep. It's got a long handle. You can look, you can get under there and brush stuff off and get the fenders clean and any skid plates that you might have or anything like that. Um, so, and I always like to wipe down the interior, especially with all this PVD work I've been doing. Box dust and stuff, it just gets yucky in there. Um, dusty, so I don't like that. So what I use for car soap is Meguiar's Gold Class Car Wash. It, it gets a lot of nice suds. Um, no, I didn't... 303 my tires or anything because we're going to get more weather so I won't go totally crazy but um, you know for for a spring cleanup I definitely do all that what I like best for the plastics is 303 protectant um, I think it does the best job on plastics making them look pretty new again do I have to reuse it every time I wash yes it's not something that's going to last for six months by any means but it's easy to apply. I, I think the best application method for it is just a sponge. Um, one of these, I bought a pack of, I don't know, it was a pack of these, 12 pack on Amazon, pretty cheap. Um, I think Meguiar sponges are better quality, but for what I'm using these for, once they get icky, I toss them. And um, if you use a towel, you tend to lose a lot of product. This keeps enough of the product in there and you're able to like massage it in because on with the dimpling and stuff that these fenders have, you really need to massage it in to really get the crevices so that it looks nice. My favorite product for paint, including powder coat paint, is ice spray wax from Turtle, Turtle Wax. I am, I can, can't get the rest of that out of there, I was so ticked off today. <laughs> um, so I had to use uh, another product I had, but I just, this stuff gives it a nice satin finish, um, especially for my powder coat bumpers. I don't want them to look shiny, but I want them to have a nice satin finish. Shiny is out. You, do, you don't want gloss on anything. 
it works great on the paint and what's great if you overspray on your plastics it doesn't have any white residue um, it even says that you can even use it on the plastics i tried that i still felt like 303 was better on the plastic fenders and the interior um, than this but i love this for the hard top the paint and my bumpers um, which are powder coat um, so anyways those are the products i mostly use on my jeep um, of course i have a bucket with a uh, you know a tray thing in the bottom i have a tire brush um, and now i love my webster there it is <laughs> I use several drying towels in the process. Um, the waffle weave I like for drying, and then I use microfibers for washing. Um, these are old. I've had these a long time. These are old Meguiar's, but I think they work the best than anything I've ever bought previous since then. So anyways, Jeep is reasonably cleaned up, not like totally detailed out, but cleaned up enough uh, to hopefully start PVD work tomorrow, we'll see. And I always, um, for my winch, God, there's some, like, ice in there. Um, any, I have a winch cover, the Bartac winch cover, so I wash it with the cover on, but then I always take it off so that if it's damp under here, it dries out. I mean, I know they're waterproof, but you still don't want them soaking wet. I don't want anything to rust. So, um... I take it off for the night and then I bring my Bartac cover in since it's all rinsed off. I take it in the house at night, which this cover is awesome. Um, I have a video on it. I take it in the house at night, let it thoroughly dry, and then I'll put it on in the morning. So anyways, that's my little car cleanup after my day in Tahoe. And um, anyways, the Jeep looks great now. All right, take care, you guys. See you later. Bye.